Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel where I share with you everything that I'm a fan of and today I want to share with you three things that I wish I had when I was pregnant. I have two little girls, one is five and one is three. Here are the three things. The first thing is a really great app. I was recently introduced to an app called Hello Belly, which already sounds really cute. But if you look at the app, it even looks cute too and very inspiring. It has really, really cute graphics and cartoon-like characters to go with the information. It has three main features. Its first feature is quick and easy tips and they have those really cute graphics to go with it. And they're nice and short, so you can have a quick moment when you're waking up in the morning and still lying in bed and read a quick tip about what's going on in your pregnancy that week. Another thing that the app features is mommy yoga, which is something that I really wish I had access to because not only does it tell you what yoga moves are good to use, it also shows you how to do them with live video of someone doing the poses. And it also has a brief description underneath that you can look at. But they also categorize the mommy yoga into first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. So you're doing moves that are safe for the stage of pregnancy that you're in. The third thing that is featured in this app is in the womb live 3D images so you can actually see about approximately what your baby is looking like in the womb. It starts at I believe 13 to 14 weeks and it also has a short little blurb that you can read to learn about um, how the fetus is developing and what your baby can do and how it's growing in the womb for that particular week or time frame and it's really cool. Now, Hello Belly is free, but it does have ads, which is fine. A lot of us deal with ads in all of our apps every day, and it's no big deal. But because pregnancy does take quite a long time, and especially for your first one, you really get into all of the information that is available to you, it would be nice to have all of those ads go away, and you'll get some of the premium features. The cost of the subscription is $20 for a flat rate, a one-time buy, and then you never have to worry about it again. Or if you don't want to fork over $20 right away, you can do a monthly subscription and that's $5 a month. Me personally, I would have paid $20 for this and it would have been great because it's a great resource. Being educated on your personal health is so important, especially when you're pregnant. It's just really nice to have a great resource and something that you can enjoy during your pregnancy with you. $20 really is not that bad. I definitely would have paid for this. If you're interested in this, awesome Hello Belly app. Of course, look in the description box below. I'm going to have my personal referral link in there. Full disclosure, Hello Belly did partner with me on this and I will get compensated if you click on the referral link and subscribe. But I just really want to share this really awesome app because I do wish I had it when I was pregnant with both Riley and Jordan. It would have been so fun to use. So the second thing that I wish I would have had when I was pregnant is knowledge that I could go to the chiropractor when I was pregnant to help me have a more comfortable pregnancy and maybe an even more comfortable and successful delivery. I just recently learned this because I recently made friends with a chiropractor who specializes in pediatric chiropractic care, but she also specializes in pregnancy chiropractic and she sent me some pamphlets and reviewing the information I was like wow I wish I had known and been a little bit more educated about the services and self-care practices that were available when I was pregnant to make it a little bit more comfortable. With Riley I was a little bit overweight and with Jordan I had gestational diabetes so doing anything natural that could have helped would have really been beneficial. If you are interested in meeting my friend, the awesome chiropractor, her name is Dr. Weaver and she's located in Orange County and I'll leave her information in the link down below. The last thing that I wish I would have had when I was pregnant with both of my girls is someone to tell me that I do not need everything on the suggested registry list. Don't get me wrong, I love registries and if you're going to have baby showers, I definitely think that registries are a great tool but you do not have to put everything in the kitchen sink on it. So when I was pregnant with Riley and I went to go fill out my registry, I walked into Babies R Us and of course they have the cute little registry desk and they give you a suggested registry checklist. So when she handed me the checklist, me being the type A OCD type of person that I am, I put one of everything that was suggested on that checklist at minimum because, of the, because some of the things on the checklist suggest that you have two to three of those things, you know, like bibs or whatever it is that you need. Um, and because I have a big family for both of the baby showers, we got a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, especially if you have girls for some reason, 
you get a lot of clothes. With Riley, I got almost nothing that was on my registry that I actually needed to take care of a baby, and I got a whole bunch of really cute clothes, which was nice because I did have clothes going from when she was a newborn all the way up to when she was 18 months, and I didn't really have to worry about it when she grew out of clothes because babies do grow really fast. But at the same time, I kind of wish I didn't have to fork over so much money to get all that other stuff that I thought I needed on the registry. We ended up spending at least a thousand dollars if not more and really looking back on it I know now it wasn't really necessary and it would have been nice to just have to buy those things as I thought that I needed them as opposed to trying to stock up on everything and get it right at that time. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you like videos like this so I know to make more in the future. Also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do. I like to share with you everything that I'm a fan of, both as a fangirl and as a mom. And even though I've been absent from my channel for a very long time, I still acquired quite a few new subscribers, and I thank you so much for finding my channel and wanting to join the Fan Mom family. I promise I will do a lot better at posting new videos in the future. I love making videos, and I love sharing this stuff with you. Thank you so much and I hope this video has helped you be a little bit better at life because that's all I strive to do and I want to share it with others. Thanks and have a good day. Bye! for a sec. We categorize it between first semester, sec first semester, like I'm in school.